Hello everyone and welcome to the Hyde Production. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about 3ds Max modifier Let, which is used to create 360 rotation with the specific path or design. So let's get it started. First of all, I have a 3ds Studio Max as you can see. Now let me show you on the Google that what is Let. Okay, let me tell you that uh, it's actually Let machine. Uh, let's 3ds Max. Let. So you can see easily that uh, there is a specific path which is draw and let used to create 360 rotation, 360 degree rotation of the specific object. So first of all, I'm going to take line and let me explain you. Suppose I have created this kind of a line from 3ds Max and uh, so I'm going to go to the vertex first. I will set my this path okay like this so it is like this okay so when i have adjusted this one i'm going to apply a modifier which is called let so let's go to the modifier list find out let and uh, you can see this is the product which we have dropped I'm gonna select the well core or flip so it can be flipped their vertices or their polygons. But uh, now I will go to the X rotation, Y rotation, or Z rotation. So it has some different shapes. But if I come from the alignment, so let's see the central alignment is the same alignment which is right now. But if I talk about minimum, so it is properly 360 degree rotated object as you can see so I'm gonna set the rotation like this zero so this path actually like working like this it can be rotated on 360 degrees something like this so this is the procedure of let modify I have created this basic shape. I'm gonna apply another modifier which is called shell. Shell used to create depth in it. So before that it was dark, but now we have created this shell. Come back to the let and I'm gonna increase the segments. Suppose I'm gonna increase 60 segments, so it is smooth now, which looks good and uh, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to take another line. I'm going to draw another object like this. So if I will apply this like one. Okay. Here now I'm going to select my fillet and it will make it smooth throughout the fillet. something like this so now I will apply let so you can see it has become the wine glass so after that you can also adjust uh, some kind of adjustment so it will already update it whatever you will disturb the line whenever you disturb the shape so it will be updated according to the let of 360 degree rotation so here I'm gonna have some more changes in it so you can see all right so let's see our main work and uh, after that I'm going to draw a plane because I'm just going to draw my main model which is going to be put in the length so here is the picture of this lamp you can find out the certain shape of this lamp so first of all I will apply the lamp or drag the lamp texture press uh, F3 or you can go to the shaded standard version so you can see this is the product which we have I'm gonna lock uh, this plane so make it freeze and deselect this show frozen gray okay start draw I'm gonna draw this 
particular shape uh, don't need any kind of uh, specific details you can draw by your own as well so here the details I have already um, draw but now you can see there's a uh, problems in the shape so we can go back to this and go to the vertex and select the vertex disturb your shape or adjust your shape throughout base here corner and uh, how it is working properly like this okay I'm gonna adjust this way and uh, here's also adjusted okay sometimes it has become locked it cannot move another way so press F8 to unlock your uh, handle always press 8 whenever your handle is locked so adjust your path Now this is properly we have adjust this one so you can already add uh, some specific shape by your own first of all I will apply let modifier and let's see how it looks like not bad it looks beautiful you can see this particular details yeah this rounded shape so you can adjust your own shapes and it doesn't matter that you need to copy this uh, so go to the vertexes and uh, you just need to find out these changes so go to the uh, refine and add vertex basically refine used to add vertices so I'm gonna select these vertices and bring it then and the side up down and add between of it one of them and take take them outside like this so let's see how it looks like now it's perfect the same way you will have to do the this side so just uh, adjust this properly like this make them fill it to create some smooth shape yes okay so come closer come down like this handle I'm going to add some more vertices to create some specific shape doesn't matter you need to copy all of them you can create your own so just add just this extra vertices now ref add refine and add vertices like this so now we have already seen that there are certain changes in all these shapes by adding vertices I'm gonna just add other vertices here 3 by 3 uh, 3 by 3 and then 3 by 3 so I'm going to Put them on the top take this center select your center vertices yes and bring it down on the outside little bit outside and fill it them smooth so now we can see look at that there's a beautiful shape it is the beautiful shape I'm gonna unfreeze this and delete them all so here I'm gonna set my in the center I will take a box and I will draw the box here as a base of this model so it will become the base of this when now it's become the base so we need to adjust the base something like this go to the tube and uh, I think we don't need a tube it's uh, let's see uh, 
okay so I'm just gonna draw this basic shape of this convert them into editable poly and select the vertices and just make it down like this I scale it down so now it's become the proper shape okay so as you can see that we have created this basic shapes of the lamp but the most important thing that was uh, uh, shape throughout the lab. I'm going to copy this element and uh, here I have a studio uh, light file. I'm going to paste this uh, model in this studio light file and you can get the link in the description how to create this studio light setup in 3ds Max V-Ray. You can find in the description. So I'm going to adjust my lamp here. After adjustment, uh, I'll put my lamp. Okay. This is uh, behind the bars like this. So first of all, you just need to go to the material editor and I have some already shaded material so just convert them into poly and treat them like this I'm gonna add some two segments here okay make them ring make them polygons and a little bit extrude little bit extrude not too much little bit extrude And after that apply the video material then the video material has to be a colorful material which is going to be my golden something like this okay have to be reflected as well and uh, now give them a same color like this okay so in that situation I'm gonna apply some video material once again on the center point it's going to be my black color or somehow dark reflective color with some 0.8 percent noise glossiness here is my main pillar so I will add uh, same golden material and uh, just uh, only from the front side I'll see this is the black just like the black and uh, assign black color Okay, so that's uh, good. We have created this lamp throughout the uh, lab modifier. Now we will see the render of this object. It looks pretty cool. So guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And if you like this, so subscribe my channel, press the bell icon. Thank you.